In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can professionally color grade your photos from this to this, just in few clicks and then understanding the concept as well. Let's get into the video. So the first thing I want you to do is to select the background layer. Select the background layer and hit Ctrl J on your keyboard, right? Now double click on the layer one and change its name to color grade, right? So change it into color grade, right? Now what I want you to do next is to select the color grade layer, come up here to filter, and then hit on convert filter right convert for smart filter now you can see that this icon will show here right when you are done come back to the filter and come to camera raw filter and this is where the magic would happen right this is where the magic will happen so on top here photoshop gives you the chance to automatically color grade it or change it into black and white which oftentimes i don't really like let's just try so if i hit black and white consider the image has been changed to black and white right but oftentimes i often like to do it manually to get my personal look i want right so i'll just hit it again and then i'll turn it off right now when you come down here you can see profile right so we have different types of profile we have monochrome and we have color make sure your profile is set to color right now we're about to begin the editing so to begin the editing you come to the basic so when you, when when you, when you do this you can see that all the bars have been closed right so to open the bar you just come to this open icon here click on it and then its pop down menu would open right the first thing that we have to do is to work on our white balance right so to work on our white balance you can just come here and then there are some custom ones here, so you can choose auto so when you choose automatic it would automatically do it for you but i don't really like it so i'll just leave it as short right i oftentimes leave it as short and i'll do my white balance personally i'll change my white balance personally right another thing you can do is to come and pick this eyedropper tool select this eyedropper tool and then after sorry so after selecting this eyedropper tool you look for a place that has white in your image right so if you this picture i don't really have white in my image but if you have any white in your image you can just click on it like this and photoshop would um, automatically do the white balance for you right i think this white balance is cool we can start with this right now the next thing you do is you come and play around with these basic settings right so you can either turn down or turn up the exposure and other things but one easy and fast way that you can do this side is when you come to the exposure you can automatically do it by hitting shift on your keyboard and then you automatically increase it right you hit contrast on your keyboard and it will automatically do the changes for you right you hit highlight and it will automatically do the changes you hit shadows automatically do it but when we come to the white and the blacks i oftentimes want to do it myself now why do i do that because my image is a raw image i got this image from pixel so you can go to google or safari and you search pixel.com and you search and you search um raw image right you can just search raw image and then you get other raw images to play with right but i advise you pick raw images with beautiful colors like this image so you get a chance to um manipulate colors and then learn the color grading from it right or you can just comment in the comment section raw image and then i'll send you a link to the file directly right now with the white what i do with the white it's i'll pull the white a bit down because if i pull the white up look at what will happen will make the image more white the image already is looking a bit dull it lacks colors right so i'll pull the whites down a bit and then pull the blacks way down i'll just pull the blacks way down right now when i put the blacks way down you can see what is happening you can clearly see that when i put the blacks down it's like it's now bringing the colors back to life right so i'll go up to contrast again and i'll just play around with the contrast a bit so i'll play around with the contrast looking at the image it's looking a bit bluish right so what i'll do is i'll just bring it deep down just bringing the colors in you just toggle the temperature i'll be increasing the temperature and, and just checking the image so you just be looking at your image right if you want to see before and after you can hit here before after before after you can see that we are making good progress right now let's bring it a bit more to the magenta and let's bring it a bit more to the magenta not too much not too much so you just be playing around with these basic settings so i think plus one plus one will be cool right now we are getting some way now the next thing i often do is with this type of images that are not a one person portrait i don't touch texture clarity and dehaze i don't touch this side right i just leave them and i jump to vibrance and saturation right so with the vibrance i'll just play around with it a bit i'll play around with the vibrance a bit so the vibrance what it does is it gives pop to the colors that's what the vibrance does okay it gives pop to the colors so just as you can see if i dial in more vibrance it's giving me that nice beautiful look okay and the saturation also increases the intensity of your colors right so if you want it to pop up a bit more you just increase your saturation a bit and just as you can see it's popping up a bit 
so you just play around with it okay i think this is fine let's see before and after so before and after before and after clearly you can see that we are making good progress here right now the next part that i often want to go is this cave right so i come to this cave oftentimes people just want to create simple escapes but what i have noticed in photo editing is just play around with the ones beneath right don't touch the caves here you can do that equally but i often like to do them here right so what i do is i just play around with the highlights I increase and decrease the highlight that is one thing about photo edit you increase it and then you decrease it to check what is happening right so looking at it with the highlight just look here look at the subjects and um, cheek you can just see something happen right so if I decrease it, it becomes so flat if I increase it is giving it a bit of shine right so you just be playing around with it I'll come to my light increase decrease to see what it does right so when you decrease it you know that no I need more light in it so you get to just toggle it in small you just be doing it bit by bit you don't just do it once so you just toggle and we come to the darks you take it back bring it forth and you know what it does right so if i take it back it makes the image darker if i bring it in it makes the image brighter so based on what you are looking for you toggle around with it right so i'll just be dialing it in a bit so like this one thing about color grading is don't let anybody lie to you that you have to get a specific look right or you have to input saturation too dial three four no 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 just play around with it it's your own image so play around with it and then look at what is pleasant to your eye right now let me decrease the canvas size so just as you can see it's looking a bit beautiful the colors are popping they're looking beautiful so we'll move to shadows we'll play around with the shadows a bit i think we need more shadows in this image i want it to be that bright image okay now after you are done with this let's see before and after we've made good progress we've made real good progress right the next side i come to is i'll come to the details but i skip the details for now and then i come to the color mixer right i just jump straight to the color mixer when i'm editing images and i'll come to the such the hue right so when i come to the hue i'll make sure my hues are set right right what the hue do the hue does is if i'm on a red hue you see when you look here it's telling you that okay you can change it into a pink or a violet you can change it into an orange right so look at it when i toggle it is playing around with the red colors in it right so this one is color grading distinct colors so every separate color it's what you are doing here right so you just toggle it so i think this is fine right you come and tackle the orange because you have orange in the image i specifically chose this image because we have almost all the colors in it right so i'll play around with the orange a bit so i get that perfect color that i'm looking for okay i think this is fine you come to the yellows because we have yellows in the colors as well so you play around with the yellows until you have what you are looking for i think this is beautiful do we have greens in it yes we have a bit of greens in the jacket so we we'll just play around with it you come and play around with the aqua it's just a matter of playing around with the colors right and then you get so you guys can see with this one i can choose to change the hue and change their colors at all like i can just change the colors you see and i pull it to green it becomes green and i pull it to two but then as um, a photo person you just want to keep it natural right so it was a blue jacket so you just bring it into something that will look pleasant to the eye. i think this is fine we have magenta so we'll just work on the magenta in the background right so we can just take it here and it's looking good already let's do before after okay now what when you are done with that you come to the saturation right so you come in the saturation what it does is the colors that you've selected you've selected in the hue here is what you're about to enhance in the saturation so in the saturation it's just like okay you have red there you showed me how you want your red to be you want your red to look a bit pinkish now should i increase its intensity or should decrease its intensity that's what the um saturation does right so with the red let's look at something if i decrease you can see that there's no red all the reds have been lost right now if i increase they become too intense right so i'll just toggle it a bit up a bit like this the oranges i want the colors of their skin to pop so i'll increase the saturation in their skin tone a bit similar thing with the yellow i'll increase it a bit the green as well and i'll come and do the blue because there's blue in the jacket i increase the intensity of the blue and then i'll come to the magenta and then just come and increase the background right now let's look at before and after we've made good progress before and after before and after at this point you can just leave it but i want to explain the other um how should i say it tools that you can use here to get a um, perfect image editing right so 
when you come down here you can see color grade as well now this color grade is what we did in the color mixer right so basically this tackles your shadow mid tones and highlights right so that is what we did in the caves and then the other part so you can choose to leave this part or you can choose to um how should i say play around with them a bit right so if you want to play around with them one thing about color grading is you don't need to use all the tools before you get a perfect image if you edit and you've seen that where you've gotten to looks please and just stop okay don't be deceived by most of these content creators if you get to a part where you want to do just stop okay if you overdo it it makes it um how should i it destroys the beauty of the work right so here you can just come in and play around with the blending options i don't want to touch so i'll just play around with the blending options a bit and i'll balance them a bit okay I think this is fine now the next side i go to we have the optics but i often don't work here right the next the optics one thing i can do is to add a vignette to it so the vignette would focus on your subject right that's one thing a vignette does right but i don't need vignettes in this particular image i just want it to stand out so i'll just hit zero right here okay come to the effect as well you can find vignette in the effect as well and then when you bring it back you add that um beautiful black background beneath them right but i don't want that as well so i'll just leave it like this to zero okay now another thing that you do when you are photo editing is when you look at these parts here we have different things here right when you come to the hill in this one i'll be using the hill what the hill does is it removes um acne you heal the image basically that right so let's say there's an unwanted something you don't want in an image you come here and then you can just click on it to remove it but this image the people um are so beautiful and then they lack all those things so i wouldn't really be using the heel too but then that's what it does right so if you have a portrait that you want to work on you can just come to the heel the first one we're at edit right now if you come to the heel you can work on those things now when you come to the max what the max does is you see we have options here we have the subject we have sky we have background right so this limits you to particular colors i want to work just on the background so what i can do is i'll just come to background right if i hit background photoshop would automatically select the background right so if it selects the background meaning any change i do would affect just the background so this is like the selective colors that you did but this is quite more advanced right so if you want to do a professional um um photo editing you can work with this background as well right but when you look here you can see that it has selected this part right so let's say if you don't want this part to be selected you just come to the subtract you make sure the subtract is selected and then you select the background because you just want to subtract from the background right so you see that it has subtracted from the part that you want right so you just subtract and then you play around with these things so the maxing is for detailed um how should i say color grade but with this image you can see that we've basically done all the color grading we don't really need to do anything fancy here right now the other thing you can do here is i just noticed this in photoshop they have presets right so they have let me just do before and after for you to see something and after right they have presets and what these presets do is so for instance let me just close this so let me just close this as well they have a lot of presets i just noticed this um in recent times so let's say i'm working with a portrait or i'm working with a sky i'm working with a subject i want to deepen the skin all these things here right they all have sub menus i can't be talking about all of them right but let's say i'm working with a portrait right i can just click on this drop down menu and it will give me the option to enhance the portrait so if i hit on enhance what it will do is it will give me this slider right here right if i select this it will give me this slider right so i can choose to enhance the portrait right i can choose to decrease its enhancement or increase its enhancement right i can choose to make it glamour when we say glamour make it shine right so you can see what is doing there right there right you can play around with all these things these are already made presets so you just have to click on it if let's say you want to darken the eyebrow let me just increase it so look just take note of the eyebrow right we've selected darken eyebrow right so if we decrease it the eyebrows are um, a bit faint if we increase it the eyebrows become a bit darker you get so that is basically just play around with these things i don't want this video to get too long so these are already made presets that you can work with right and just as you can see we've color graded our image so just look at it with color so when i then hit on ok and then your image is color graded so when we hit before after before after and then this is how you can color grade your video your images in photoshop you can similarly color grade your videos in photoshop so you just take a still image like this when you're done you import it back into your video editing app and then just copy the color grade and paste it on it and do maybe little tweaks with it right thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next one until then peace i'm out make sure you subscribe